Okay hey guys, um, a couple months back I taught you guys how to make maps with PowerPoint, Microsoft PowerPoint that is. Now I'm going to teach you how to make a map with uh, Windows Paint I believe. It's Paint, I know that, but it's I think it's called Windows Paint. Let's go ahead and grab our map. Um, today I'm using Map of the USA. Just search up blank U US map and then uh, one of the suggestions should be blank. So do blank US map. And this should be one of the first ones that pop up. Pretty good map. Really good for this technique. Uh, the other one I showed you guys on the PowerPoint map does not work very well with this one. So let's say there is going to be... Let's say we're forecasting temperatures for the winter time. I'll try to recreate my winter forecast for you guys. So I'm going to start out with the lightest blue. And always remember, you can edit colors and make your own if you want more, um, more colors. Let's start out with below average temperatures in this region. Actually, I forgot. Kind of more like that. And basically, we just select the fill tool after we use just the pencil tool to make an outline. And then we fill in like that. Make sure um, if it goes onto the other side, make sure that it's filled in all the way. Go ahead and zoom in. Oh, whoa. -ho -ho. Hello, Washington. Okay, let's go down. See how it's perfect? Sometimes you'll draw and just go like that, and if you fill, it makes it to the other side, so. That's probably the problem you're having if it won't fill in all the way. So let's continue filling the rest of the states. If, if you're not good with PowerPoint, like, it's a little bit harder than this. This, like, even for my preliminary winter forecast, I used, it, I used paint because it's so much easier. If you have a low amount of time, I would definitely recommend this. Um, I only had about, I mean, it takes like 10 minutes. I, after you know what your uh, forecast is going to be, it takes maybe even just 5 minutes after you know what you're forecasting. Always remember, kids, don't wish cast. Wish casting is lame, and everybody knows that. Okay. And if you accidentally do what I just did, it's an easy fix. Just select your color two using, oh crap, you're going to want color one again. And then select white. Like that. Now let's go ahead and select our color again. Use the fill tool. It looks pretty clean. Um, the smaller your line is, the less noticeable it is, because uh, the reason this technique's so good, because you don't have to, um, you don't have to fade it at all, but if you zoom in, you can see that the outline goes over the borders, but your fill won't, but that's too small to be noticed. Um, and even this white stuff really, um, te uh, has, I can, as far as I can see, it doesn't really bother people that much. I mean... It's pretty obvious that it's not your forecast that there's not gonna it's gonna be average temps in here. That's not true because that be, it would it wouldn't be like that. People can tell. Okay. And you can make this make I like to I prefer to make around four layers for temperatures. And this winter it's looking like um, we could have some pretty cold temperatures in the south. This is more of a south-based winter as far as below average temperatures go. Um, and the Mid-Atlantic does have an okay shot at seeing some good storms this year. Kind of like last year. This is pretty far off from what my forecast was, but it's close enough. one all the way. 
So we're going to go ahead and fill in. Crap. <laughs> Trying to fill in all of North Carolina. Something like that. So this would be slightly below average. Um, this one is going to be below average, then well below average, and extremely below average. Extremely below average for me is 6 to 8 degrees below average. Then this is um, 4 to 6, 2 to 4, and 1 to 2. And then we would go ahead and make the above average, which is yellow, light orange, orange, and red. And we're going to go ahead and make this. The states in the west are a lot easier because they tend to be bigger and more square shaped. So there we go. And now we're going to go to the next layer, this color orange. And This video is going to be up before my winter forecast uh, by probably around an hour. So, if you're watching this on um, July 7th, um, 2014, then there's a good chance that um, it's not up yet. But anytime after that is probably up. So, in my forecast, I don't make any extreme crap. <laughs> I don't make it um, extremely above average anywhere, but we're going to go ahead and do it just so you guys can see how nice it looks. And now for the red. You can do red or pink. Pink would maybe make sense, but we're going to go ahead and go with the red because it's more of a hot color. And there you have it. It looks pretty nice. It looks really nice, actually. Like I said, much easier than PowerPoint. And actually goes over the borders a lot better. You can see the borders a lot better. Honestly, this could potentially be better than PowerPoint if you do it right. Um, if it wasn't for the white like dots where the pixels become a just slightly different shade near the borders, it would look better than PowerPoint. That's the only downside to this technique. But you can easily fill that in if you want to put the effort into it by using the brush tool. Here, I'll give you an example of how to do that. I'm not, I don't do that just because I, like I said, I do this because of minimum time, but if you don't even have PowerPoint, then this is something, and you, and you want to put effort into it, this is something you could easily do. And just go over the pixels. There you have it. Crap. Don't do that. We're going to zoom out in a second and see how good it looks now. If you look right there, that's where we upgraded it. And it looks a lot better. But, I mean, this is... It still looks nice with that. You people can tell that that's just because of the uh, picture, not because of you. Did we forget the... I think I did something wrong. Let's try to fix that. Okay. Sometimes things like this happen with this technique. So what we're going to do is make sure that I mix it all the way. There we go, that's better. Okay, and this is how you make a weather map slash forecast with power, uh, my, it's, um, Windows Paint. Should come with your computer. Um, if not, there's probably somewhere you can download it, but, um, if you have Windows 8, you just, uh, click, go to your, um, thing and look through your applications. If you have Windows 7, just click on your, um, Windows thing right here and look for it. In your programs. Alright, hope you enjoyed. Um, 
if you want to, uh, if you're going to make a forecast for your first time, go ahead and let me know. And, uh, yeah, I'm offering to uh, do shout-outs, I guess, to uh, channels. So if you want a shout-out, you can do it, and you're new to the weather community. I only do it for weather uh, profiles, uh, because I don't want to go too off-topic. But if you're making a new weather YouTube channel, let me know. I'll help you out, um, give you a shout-out, and uh, hopefully that'll help you uh, get a jump start. Anyway, see you guys later. Bye-bye now.